Hey yo, what's going on y'all? So today, what I'm gonna be doing is working the side skirts, trying to match up the uh, TRD style side skirts with the Rocket Bunny V2 kit. Like I had mentioned in the test fit, if we come down here, you can see that this part up here just doesn't match the, uh, the natural curve of the uh, V2 kit. And coming back here, I don't know if I mounted my over fenders too low, but I feel like this would still have to be trimmed anyways. So what the goal is, is to uh, notch this up here so that it fits underneath down there. And then up here, I'm just gonna go ahead, cut this flat, and then we're gonna curve it so that it sits down here and then goes in. I got some masking tape down and then with a razor, I drew a line to where I think the back side of this will line up with the bottom side of the flare. Mark that and I'm gonna take an angle grinder and I'm gonna cut a little bit above this line and then I'll line that up. This is pretty much the same height that the other side is. So it'll be relatively the same. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and then fit it up. So I ended up getting this line cut pretty nicely. I'm gonna take a 60 grit sandpaper on the palm sander, uh, shave down this a little bit. Right here could have been maybe a half millimeter higher. I'll show you in the close up, but it is actually a pretty solid cut. Don't have to do too much adjusting, just right here. I'm gonna shave this down a little bit. My cut was a little rough, but sand that down. I'll show you what it looks like. Taking a look right here, you can see I did shave away maybe like a inch and a half, a couple inches of plastic from the top. Made one simple cut and that actually worked out pretty nicely. As you can see, follows the body line right there. Up here, slopes down just a little bit, but that won't be too noticeable. And then right here, this is the main thing. You wanna have this lip come right over here, which it does. That wood block's a little bit too high, but as soon as I remove that, I'll be able to put maybe one or two self-tappers back here so it can hold the place, and then we'll work on the front piece. With the car jacked in the air, we can finally start working on the front side. So that's a little cold where I'm at. It's kind of maybe high 20s, low 30s. So I have this little space heater blown on the plastic piece to try to get that uh, softened up. I do have two heat guns that I'm gonna use. One on the back side, one on the front side. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wood block out of there this is almost lined up perfectly but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put four self tappers in the fender uh, one back here and then one as far forward maybe like right here before the bend so i can have as much uh, rigidity against this so whenever i'm curving that over this doesn't warp the only thing that's concerning is down here i'm gonna have to heat this up pretty good but it should go according to plan this is where I'm at now in the process. What I did is I found this curve right here and right before it starts to curve, I put these two self tappers and I put these two back here just to added rigidity. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one heat gun, have it down here on the back side, 
and then another heat gun on this front side. Once I see this start to warp, I'm gonna start pushing this around this curve. Before I start trying to warp this, I figured I should make a few relief cuts on the bottom. I just went straight and then at an angle and then cut it through. Probably bigger than what I need, but that's all right. And I took off this piece, which is right here, just um, because it angles down and it holds the bottom with this side and trying to get this to curve over. So now I should be good to start bending this. Side note. Make sure the side skirt doesn't get in the way because if this part lines up, everything else is going to line up. If this doesn't, then it's just going to look a little wonky. some pressure around here and up here and hit work this body line right here with your thumb make sure that it stays good what I was talking about right here these screws held this down in place to where this part is straight and then as it goes around the curve it starts bending uh, I don't like this curve as much I think I'm gonna work it some more heat it up just a little bit Once you get that trimmed and cut to fit, this is pretty much the end. Uh, I might body work this a little bit more, try to smoothen this curve out. Not too noticeable. You can tell that it is a little custom fab, but for the most part, she's done. That's pretty much the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead throw the wheel on, finish the other side maybe tomorrow or something, but it's a little too cold, as you can tell. So, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Later.